let's look at the Clean Energy ETF. First off, read this disclaimer carefully and do your good deed of today by liking and subscribing. So here are the energy ETFs. Clean Energy is here, 50-ish percent move from the low, but we have a minus 46-ish percent pullback. PBW is the ticker. So yeah, we have definitively seen a ferocious correction. Interestingly, we do have these very reliable time cycles, uh, big, big, big picture. Uh, the thing is that we did have a very sizable correction already. Um, and this happened, you know, during what is uh, the rising phase. So there could be some, you know, disturbance in the force, so, so to speak. Uh, if you look at this time cycle here, we did actually have a sizable correction, then a big move, and then we have, you know, the next, the full bar uh, pullback. Here as well, a mid, uh, well, not fully midway, but here a correction, then a rally, and then the full bar, you know, um, price um, reversion. So maybe we have something here as well now. We have that first impulse rally, pullback, and then we could have another rally. Certainly a possibility. Uh, here is the seasonality. Um, September, October, and November tend to be strong over the last five years, over the last 10 years. September is one of the strongest months, but October is uh, mediocre. November usually posts a gain, but only closes higher 44% of the time over the last 17 years. There is a clear strengthening from August to September. But then October and November are a bit mediocre until December comes uh, as the strongest month. So the seasonality is a bit messy, but overall we have a bit of a bullish-ish lean to it. It certainly is not very favorable to, to bearish strategies. Now, when we look here at the price action, we do see something that looks a whole lot like a potential double bottom. Yeah, so that would be the, th the thesis for a bullish trade is that this is a double bottom. What I like to see here is that the wick goes far lower here than it does here. So you do have that uh, change in which it's, it seems like uh, the bulls are uh, forming that low. That is, uh, yeah. Uh, the RSI is also at a level that has triggered uh, buying in the past. Here we had a similar RSI and it did form this low. Here we did actually go lower here as well and here too. Uh, something we just have to respect. Here we formed a low that is identical with this and at the previous times we went down there we did have uh, from a low to high 35-ish percent which is a pretty good uh, healthy move. So yeah, the technicals here are leaning bullish. Daily data points. Uh, so in this case, you do see that you know double bottom being for being formed, you know more clearly. Boom, uh, boom, a bullish uh, setup for sure. Um, we also see that um, uh, the high here on the RSI is also higher than here, which is also a bullish uh, signal. Uh, we are very likely to you know face uh, continued resistance from. Um, uh, this blue 100 day moving average because it because it has been very solid as resistance so far uh, Going up there to test it would mean from the current level. Yeah North of you know 10% move. So that is interesting Even from a just a speculative bullish tr uh, trade perspective the RSI is at a level that tend to attract buyers um, PPO as well at a relatively low level. We have been lower in the past, both when it comes to RSI and the PPO. And that is definitively something we have to res respe respect. But the, te the technicals are pushing me in a more bullish uh, direction, though speculative. Um, a bit of a messy situation here with the, the trend lines. Uh, when we compare um, the clean energy ETF, with the S&P 500, something interesting happening happens when we look at the price earnings. So the price earnings of the S&P 500 is 149-ish percent above clean energy. So you could make some value play here. Now looking here at um, 
the dividend it is pretty pathetic you know um well it's not that bad but it's it's less than one percent and when the dividend is less than one percent i don't really consider it a dividend play it just isn't because for something to be a dividend stock or a dividend etf the dividend should in my opinion at least be two to three percent such that it actually functions as a buffer because that is the point of the dividend is that you are paid to wait or compensated for holding through uh, potentially some corrective uh, phases so here we compare pbw to, to, the, to the, the spy first solar Lithium Americas is uh, Oromat, they are into geothermals. So we do have a nice mix, Tesla. And here is, you know, the sector breakdown, uh, the market cap breakdown. So, so pretty nice balance here between mid, small, micro and large caps. Here is the regional breakdown, very dominated by USA. So taking the evidence together. Uh, I am certainly leaning bullish on this one, but the bullish thesis is very much contingent on the double bottom. We currently have that set up. Um, the seasonality is looking interesting. The, you could make a valuation play as well, as well a case as well. But I do like to have like a clear like line in the sand because. Um, I, I primarily use technical analysis as as a risk management tool. Um, so yeah, very interesting things here happening here. We also have the time cycles. Uh, we see that there are some par parallels to what has happened in the past. So there's a good re good case for a bullish trade, but we also need to be aware of that we are part of this m this major time cycle uh, that could mean that there's some deeper correction but that is you know quite a bit off into the future so yeah very interesting things here for clean energy and this is you know one of those themes where the mutual funds are frankly just mandated to push more and more money into it and that is uh, you know good for the bulls